Today I'm going to talk about carbon dioxide and how it's causing our oceans to become more and more acidic. Now to demonstrate this, I begin by dissolving an indicator called bromothymol blue in some distilled water. Bromothymol blue is an acid base indicator that becomes blue at high pHs indicating an alkaline environment, and it becomes a green and then yellow at lower and lower pHs. I also add a bit of ammonia so that the reaction is more vibrant, and then I throw an Alka-Seltzer in the water which immediately begins to bubble as it releases carbon dioxide gas into the solution. Due to the addition of the ammonia, nothing visible happens at first, but as the CO2 reacts with water, it forms a weak acid called carbonic acid. As the concentration of this carbonic acid increases, the pH becomes more and more acidic, which results in the indicator changing from blue to green to yellow. Now, technically the source of carbon dioxide here is sodium bicarbonate, which exists in equilibrium with both carbonic acid and sodium carbonate. Now, sodium carbonate and bicarbonate are both bases, but Alka-Seltzer contains an equal proportion of citric acid, which immediately reacts with the bicarbonate to form its trademark carbon dioxide bubbles. In that way, sodium carbonate and bicarbonate act as buffers against citric acid, which is pretty much exactly how they work in our oceans. Now, for another demonstration, I'm simply going to blow air directly into plain water, and this time you can see the solution becomes a lot more acidic a lot more quickly. And this is because there's no sodium carbonate or bicarbonate to act as buffers. Now at this point you're probably wondering, okay, so more CO2 dissolved in water makes the water more acidic, why is this a problem for the ocean? And the reason for that is that carbonic acid, as well as the carbonate and bicarbonate ions, exist in a delicate equilibrium in the ocean. In alkaline environments like the ocean, this carbonate binds to calcium to form calcium carbonate, which I'm demonstrating here by blowing air into a solution of calcium hydroxide. Marine invertebrates build their shells out of calcium carbonate, so as the proportion of CO2 in the ocean increases, favoring the formation of carbonic acid, those shells weaken as they dissolve. This will eventually cause an extinction of marine invertebrates, which will be devastating as they comprise such a core part of the ocean's ecosystem. In any case, that's all I have for today. If you'd like to hear more on this topic or see more content like this, consider leaving a comment and following me on TikTok or YouTube.